Nashville has more than its share of celebrity chefs, but no one has transformed the food scene here like Food Network star Manit Shohan. This is her fourth Music City restaurant. Absolutely gorgeous. It's called Chattable, and we stopped by for a chat. This is your heritage that you're putting out there and sharing. Yeah. It's resonating with people. It is. We are familiar with it. We grew up with it. But would people understand it? Will people get the flavor, right? They I are. I get it. I get they it. They are. And it's amazing because I think in the end of the day, flavor transcends everything. So we've got these plantains, we've got cashew, which is cooked in ghee. This right over here is one of our favorites. These are uh, potato peelings. You've got to try one of these. Oh, look yeah. at that. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this is the vada pao. So this is called vada pao. Vada are these spiced potato croquettes, which are batter fried in chickpea batter. Um, and then pao is buttered bread. And there's some sweet tamarind chutney, some tangy mint chutney, mm. and then there's this spicy garlic chutney flakes all around. So it's just, it's just a party in your mouth. And, and of course, if you want it spicy, there are these deep fried chilies right over here, which is traditionally how it is served in India. I love it, I oh love it. God. Some of the conversations that we have are basically around that, where we are mm -hmm. like, remember at college when we used to have the vada pao? And oh, that needs to go on the menu. Okay, this is build a bhel. Okay. okay. Bhel is puffed rice. And in India, they make this street side. In India, this used to be our bento box or our lunch box. This is what I used to take for lunch. Oh, wow. Right? We have the bhel, which is the puffed rice. We have some tomatoes. We have cucumber, mango, peppers, all of this beautiful, colorful stuff happening. So we take this to the table, present it to the guests, and... <gasps> right? Oh, that's beautiful. And then we garnish it with a little bit of chickpea noodles, which is a lovely savory snack, some cilantro and some pomegranate seeds. Looks delicious. It's a contrast of textures. There's that crispiness, there's the crunchiness. Mm. In India, chaats literally are street food, right? And it can be, it can be this, it can be warm chaats. Um, it usually have chutneys, they have different textures. That's what chaats are all about. Vivek and I, we, we joke, we hid from our parents and ate this food because we weren't supposed to have street food in India because it was, you didn't know where it was coming from, right? So to get those memories over here, it's, it, ha it has a very special place in our heart. So this is our Kerala pepper beef fry. So Kerala is a southern coastal region in India and it's got these beautiful like this coconut, there's curry leaves and it's really known for its, its uh, tela cherry peppers. Mm. And that is the pepper that goes in here. You get the mustard, you get the pepper. It is slightly on the spicy side, but then the coconut goes ahead and smooths away the heat. We're very particular. We're like in and out flavors. Boom, you're good to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can safely say that this has been one project that both Vivek and I have like closest to our heart. It's, it's the neighborhood place. This yeah. has become a complete neighborhood place. It'll speak for itself. And I think that is something that we are letting, we're letting the food speak. We're letting the space speak for itself. And it's happening.